Guys, today we're going to be doing a comparison between Ryobi and Milwaukee. I have a Milwaukee impact right there. We're going to test it and it just won't fit in frame. Okay, first test. We're going to we're going to put the clutch on the lowest setting and see how much force it takes for me to stop it. So I'm just going to grab it and we're going to go it's on speed 2 and everything. It's delivering some force. I mean, it, it, it's pretty good for driving in little screws. Now, let's test out this. The battery fell out. Hold up. This is better anyway. I don't know what y'all talking about buying the Milwaukee's. The Ryobi is way much better. Anyways, put it on the lowest thing. It doesn't have a speed setting, but that's okay. You don't need one. The battery fell out. Okay. Ready? The battery fell out. Okay. Ready? Bruh. Bruh. Um... I'll be right back. Okay, I got some tape on the battery now. That should that should help it. Anyways, here it goes. The battery. The next test, battery change speed. So you got your drawer right here. Oh no, the battery is dead. These batteries, they never die anyway, so it doesn't matter. But like, imagine your battery died on the, on the Milwaukee. Yeah, a little bit of force, but you know, it's meant like that. So in case you need to drop it off the ladder, it, the battery won't go flying out into your neighbor's car's window. Anyways, now we're going to do the, the, the Ryobi's battery change speed. Okay, the battery's in there. Okay, here goes. Bruh. It just built. See, it's built different. Battery, faster than Milwaukee's. Easy. Next test, drill speed. We're going to see how fast this one can spin. First, we're going to start off on the low gear. It's pretty fast. Second gear, even faster. And for comparison, we got this uh, Milwaukee Impact right here. And I'll put it uh, in a, a bit in there so you can actually see it spin. Boom. Battery, full power. Those bars will never go anywhere because it's always going to stay fully charged. Anyways, now let's do the Ryobi. Battery fell out again. The uh, Ryobi speed test. It doesn't have a speed setting, so just one. This is one gear. Ready? Bruh. Okay, here goes. Bruh. Okay. Like this. I, I guess it's good. Um, next test. I have this piece of wood right here, and I have. Hold on, I got some wood screws. Now, if it goes through all of this, let's see how far it goes. Yeah, that'll be fine. All right, first up. Milwaukee, piece of garbage, as everyone knows. Ryobi's better. This one always breaks and everything, you know. It was gears all the way to drill and fully charged battery. And here it goes. I'm gonna get, I'm I'm get these started before I actually start drilling them. Just so they don't wobble around. Anyways, here it goes. I'm confused. Why is it not? Oh, it didn't tighten the chuck all the way down. See? Milwaukee's not that good. Anyways. Oh, goodness. That was not good. I should have held that there. See, it took forever to do that. Ryobi's turn. We'll see how good this one. You didn't see that. How good this one, the better one, does now. Hope the truck doesn't work. I mean, it does. I, mean, it's just... I can't tighten the truck. Oh, no, I can't. Okay. See how fast. Right, let me see if I can figure out how to gotta hold. See, it's a little bit user friendly. You gotta put the battery up against you so it doesn't fall out. That's the only. I don't even know. I'm gonna. I'm gonna start it now. Alright, here it goes, guys. Roby. I forgot to put it there. Not, not, not bad for not good. All right, removing bolts now. We're gonna step in with the impact. Put it right here. The battery fell out again. No, it didn't. It didn't. Easy. Take out this bit right here. Slide it in the impact. I can get it in the impact. All right, loosening. See how fast the Milwaukee can take out this. That's pretty slow. Let's see 
their Ryobi do it. See how fast this, this Ryobi can do it. Wait, what the? Is it even doing it? Oh, it is. All right, here it goes. How fast can the Ryobi remove this? And I gotta put my hand here so this thing doesn't spin around. Sorry, I didn't mean to skip that last test right there. I had to, I had to go do something. That was the only issue. Anyways, one last test we gotta do. This last little test isn't really a test. It's more of a review of each one, like a quick little review. So this uh, Ryobi, it's got it's got a few little speeds on the clutch right here. A nice chuck that you can't unscrew. You can't unscrew on it. You got to do it like that. It's got a little battery, not, not a battery light. It's got a light right here and a drill bit holder. Bruh. You put your put your drill bits right there. You know, you get what I'm saying. Anyways, nice trigger control. The light doesn't stay on when you, after you let go of the trigger. 